Let's take a look at plastic, something we use every single day that has seemed to invade our life, our bodies, and our homes. Usually when we think of plastic and the environment, we think of the ocean and how it's a dumping ground for all the plastic we use. And we think about the animals and the creatures that get caught up in the plastic and how it's ruining their ecosystem and their environments. But what about the impact that it has on the rest of the world and our own environment? People lose their lives and their homes due to plastic and pollution. Think about all the products that are just in the room that you're sitting in now that are surrounded with plastic, laundry detergent, dish soap, everything. Just take a look around you. Even when you go to the grocery store, they stick everything in a plastic bag. All your snacks, chips, cookies, they come in plastic bags. Even the things that are better for us and chemically free are even packaged in plastic. That doesn't sound like it's very environmentally or eco-friendly to me. Even at my own house, I looked around as I was putting it up groceries and I saw all the plastic I had bought and that I was currently using. And I also think about the millions and millions of coffee pods that are thrown away every single year. Let's relate something to people our age. Something that we have used over and over again. Something that brings us all together. The red solo cup. Something we use at parties to drink out of. Something that is made of a very heavy duty plastic that doesn't biodegrade at all. It's a cup that we use to play flip cup or beer pong and have a good time. But think about it. If there's 100 people at a party and each person uses two cups, that's 200 red solo cups that are going to live on the earth for the next 20 years. So are they really that much fun? Let's think about our generation and our future generation and how this plastic affects our families. It affects our health and it's not in very good ways and it's more for the negative. The chemicals that have been found in plastic have been linked to issues such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. What's the chemical that causes all these issues? Well, it's BPA. BPA is short for bisphenol A. It's the chemical that's found in all plastic that makes it live. And it's not very healthy for us. So why do we have it? Well, the top reason is because it makes plastic live forever and keeps items longer on the shelf. Now we see all these items that are BPA free, but is BPA free actually good for us? It's not. There's another chemical in plastic called EAs. It's a chemical that is naturally occurring and mimics estrogen. And even though it might be BPA free, it's not EA free. Those chemicals found in plastic are then ingested into our bodies when we drink out of a plastic water bottle or have food in plastic food containers and are microwaved. BPA might be regulated, but it's not illegal. Why is that? Why in the US are we allowed to keep eating something that is hurting us? And not just that, why are we even allowed to use plastic at all if it's hurting our environment and killing us? The answer should be simple. We should all recycle. Well, that's not possible. There's no law in the US that says that we should recycle or that we have to. Where I live currently, I don't get recycling pickup, just trash. The US doesn't have any laws in place because they leave it up to the states. Clearly, you can see in this map in North Carolina that we do not have one law that requires us to recycle. There is one state that has a plastic bag ban, and that is in California. But the other question is, who would pay to help with all this recycling? I don't feel like I'm responsible if I'm not the one creating it. We all know that America runs on companies and money. That's what America thinks is most important. These companies are the top plastic producers in the world, and clearly, they're doing their job right. This graph just gives us a small glimpse of the amount of money plastic earns and how much money is being put into plastic production. 
Since the U.S. is so terrible with plastic, how is the rest of the world doing in comparison to where we live? This map shows the plastic waste generation across the entire world. The dark green represents the countries that use more plastic than the others. Clearly, the United States and China are not doing so well in comparison. Let's take a closer look at Europe because it seems like they're doing a lot better than we are and they're just as industrialized as the United States. This is Europe and shows what countries have laws in place for landfills and plastic. Clearly, they're doing something very right because they have much lower amount of plastic pollution in the oceans than we do in America. The government really should see that this is a much bigger issue than they think it is. They should stop leaving it up to the states to make decisions and make a decision for us. But until they do that, we need to do our own part and make sure that we're saving our environment here in America. Stop using plastic water bottles, reuse, refill, recycle, and let's help save our oceans and our world. Let's educate each other on the importance of not using plastic and how detrimental it can be to us and our world together.